Hello everyone, it is I Reverse and welcome back to some more Knights and Dragons. Today I'm actually gonna be talking about, well, um, a short little episode here. It's gonna be not too long, but I just probably really wanted to take some time here to actually talk about this more money, more gems, more armor. It's kind of it's kind of being said in a very gangster-like way. Anyway, this is a new event that just came out. It really sucks because, well, I made my news flash and this event literally came out like a few hours after I released the news flash. Anyway, this is another gem spending event. I wanted to be talking about this uh, mainly for the fact that, well, the half half fire plate mail is available in there, which is a really nice armor. I just gotta say, I really like it a lot. Very defensive type, very strong armor. Uh, obviously the fire fusion boost armors are gonna be uh, the, the ones you want to be going for and I might be going for it as well I have 35 gems I'm actually gonna open up a chest later on as well in just a little bit but I needed some sort of an excuse to actually like bring this episode to you guys because essentially this is a Niels item as well and this is a pretty big thing so you got like four and a half more days before this is actually over and uh, yeah I suppose Hellfire Plate Mill is really nice Although I'm not entirely sure whenever the next gem spending event is gonna come uh, around the corner. I suspect, by the way, Grease doing things right now. It might be coming very shortly, but the, the, the bad thing about this is there's a 20% sale ongoing right now. And as we know, 20% sale isn't really all that appealing, so you might want to wait until there's a better timing with like a 30% sale or 40% sale or something like that. So yeah, that's just something I wanted to get out of the way to show it off to you guys. So there's no new additional events um, than that. Just the gem sale that's ongoing right now. And the uh, more money, more gems, more armor event that's ongoing. So let's get into the main thing because you guys already saw it from the title. I'm going to be opening up a demon chest and we're going to hopefully get something good. I'm not having my hopes up, but because the event is four times, I really do feel that I should repay the favor to Gree in some sort of a way and open up one of these babies. So let's actually give this a go. The chest looks really great. Hopefully what's inside is even greater. So let's take a look here, shall we? Today, we are going to be getting... Wow, a legendary. That's pretty cool. Hydro Mentor... <sighs> <laughs> oh wow, Hydromancer's Mantle. I really liked it a lot that I got a Legendary. This is going to be helpful for our Fusion Frenzy. And uh, Fusion Frenzy will be coming like end of the month or something like that. I, I'm, I've been being pretty lazy when it comes down to defeating the uh, Kingdom of Darkness. I've not been making a start on that. So I'll probably start doing that next week. I'll be pretty sure to bring you guys uh, well some updates on that as well. So uh, while we're on the topic of updates, I, I just really feel the urge to show you guys, also for the sake of making the episode a little bit longer, to show you guys what I'm having for legendaries right now and possible three stars. I have, I don't have a lot of three stars, let me tell you guys in advance. So green kaleidoscopic, this one is fusible, I'm not sure whether or not I want to fuse this away because, well, I don't really see myself using it all that much anymore, so I'll think about that for now. Slimebane Battle Gear. Cyclops Battle Gear, Kanit's Blade Mill, we have Arm of the Bear, we have Spartan's War Gear, Worm Shroud Mantle, Hydromancer's Mantle, Cyclops Battle Gear, and a bunch of, no, not a bunch, we actually have like three uh, of the three stars, so that's not a whole lot. So I need to get working on that, as I already mentioned before. Um, Lilith's Armor, you guys have been asking me so many questions on that. Um, I actually started crafting <laughs> right before this episode, which is really stupid, but... I literally forgot about this armor and I feel pretty bad about that, especially because of the fact, well, my crafting will be done later than the actual boss is gonna be finished. Right now it's level 40, I'll be bringing out an episode on level 43 like tomorrow or late today, well, uh, today I'm actually gonna go to that new Disney movie, what's it called again? Ma Ma Mali... Maleficarum, that's the skill, Maleficarum, but, uh, it's not called, it's Maleficent, Maleficent, I have no idea how to pronounce it, it's Maleficent or Male Maleficent, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, if you, any Disney fans out there, I'm gonna go to that movie today, a friend, a friend of mine actually invited me, he was like, yo, do you want to come along and we we'll, can get you in for free, so I was like, I'm not gonna, like, reject that, you know, free ticket to the cinema, it's really great, so, Gonna be more going to the cinema. I'll tell you guys how the movie was in some other episode or something like that. But uh, no spoilers, by the way. Don't worry about that. So um, I'm not entirely sure whether or not I'm gonna be going for 43rd, uh, like uh, one, the plus version of this armor. Because well, I wanted to show you. I got off topic just now, but I want to show you my armors that I'm having right now. And that's part of the reason why I'm not entirely sure. So we have a Pestilence Mantle and we have a Arbor Steel Vanguard. And we have a Death Shroud. So 
I'm gonna level up the Death Shroud to level uh, 70 for sure, because it's gonna help me out in my lineup, like, really good. And then I have my Arbor Steel Vanguard, need to get it up to level 99. And, truthfully, I'm not sure whether or not this Lilith's Mantle is going to fit within my lineup, because I already have, like, so much water and, and fire anyway. So, I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comment section below whether or not I should be using it. That is also gonna be the question of the video. Should I be using the Lilith's Mantle or not? So, if you guys actually give me like 20 comments on that I should be using it, then I will be using it. And I'll, I'll, of course I'm going to show you guys the transformations, don't worry about that. So, yes, that's really all I had for today. It's kind of a short episode, but later today, of course, is going to be the Guild War results for Day 2. But later today, you guys will be expecting another episode with the Day 2 Guild War results of the, uh, the War of the Enchantress. And that's actually going really crazy. It's gonna be really interesting. You guys should be looking forward to that. So that being said, I'm going to round this episode off here. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And also, as always, make sure that if you guys like this episode to BOOM! Give it a thumbs up. This was I, Reversal for Knights and Dragons. I will be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.